Welcome to this week's plan with me. So I'm going to be using some free printables today. I'm going to leave the link down below. This one is from dixiesoul.com and I think it was called the Golden Girl Kit and it's just full of blue marble and golden accents and I'm actually obsessed with this. So a little tip for when you are printing, when you first print out a printable it will, this is just on paper which is why it's not very good quality but it will print out like this and it will look perfect and then when you go to put it in your planner it will be a little bit too small so you need to resize it like I did with this one and it doesn't look like a lot but when you start using it in your planner you'll definitely notice that kind of extra mill that's missing. And the paper that I'm using today is a new sticker paper that I'm trying out. So this one is a normal, regular, matte, white sticker paper. And then the other one is more of a premium sticker paper. And it's so buttery and so soft. I really love it. I'm trying to find similar quality to have in my shop that's a little bit cheaper. So I'm just going to start with the washi as usual. And I'm just going to put this along the top. So let me know down in the comments if the quality of sticker paper is something that you really go by and you love. Because if I was to use this in my shop, obviously my kit prices will have to go up. And I kind of like my kit prices so they're like available for everyone. They're not too high priced. But I really do love this sticker paper. So let me know down below if you would prefer to pay more for a kit that has got really good sticker paper. Or you're happy with just the plain white matte sticker paper. So now I'm just trimming off the leftover washi at the top and I always save my cut off bits so I can use them later in my spread just in case you haven't watched any of my plan with me's before. So all I've done here was just trim it so it matched where my boxes end in my planner just because I thought it looked a little bit better than it overhanging. The kit also comes with some long thin strips which usually you would use if you're going on holiday or you wanted to block out a few days you would use this to kind of show how many days you're away for but it was the right size to use at the bottom of my happy planner so I just used one strip and put it along the bottom as bottom washi. This kit also comes with the day covers and I was so happy about that because I love using day covers. So I'm just going to quickly stick them all the way along the top. And then once that's done we can just go in day by day as usual. So I'm going to start off with a half box at the top and I'm just going to write down to upload this plan with me that you are now watching. And then for some reason in a minute I zoom in. I think I hadn't zoomed in before so we're extra close in this plan with me. Just, I'm so sorry about that. But these are my new poppets. They're called the Home Life Poppets which I've just released in my shop. And I've got so much clean clothes to fold and put away that the face was actually kind of perfect. Underneath I just put a gold header and then moved on to a full box. And I've actually got my niece and nephews coming around for a play date where actually I'm looking after them while my sister is at work. So I just wanted to mark that down because they'll be here all day. I'm so sorry that this is zoomed in so much. If this is unwatchable then next week I will make sure that I do not zoom in this close. So underneath I just used another kind of blue header and then I used a half box because me and my sister are having a sister sleepover. Well and all the kids as well but you know. And then at the end there I just put in my little love poppets from my love poppet sheet. They're just like two friends holding hands. And then I'd forgotten that I hadn't put my blue headers in along the top so I'm just going to quickly do that. Now I'm just going to use a page flag onto its side and use another one of my new home life poppets because I'm going to be having a cleaning day. Then I'm just going to use a checklist and just fill out everything that I needed to clean on that day. So this kit does come with a few headers where it's written on there but they haven't got many like TV icons or little things so I decided just to use these plain washi strips as headers throughout the spread. Underneath I used two more puppets from the home life sheet, one for laundry and one for my food shop. Then I just put in a gold header before moving on to my next checklist because I was so confused last week. I thought my children go back to school on the Monday. Like we were all ready for them to go on Monday. I would have sent them off. And it wasn't until I was talking to my sister and she was like, no, Laura, they go back on Wednesday. So um, yeah, luckily I found out beforehand. So this is just my getting ready to go back to school for the next day checklist. 
Good job that I did talk to her because I seriously would have waved them off at the door on Monday. For Wednesday I wanted to start with one of my coffee poppets and this one very sleepily holding coffee first and then I realised that I'd put back to school on the Tuesday and I just quickly put tomorrow because Wednesday is when they actually go back to school. Next I just put another piece of the gold washi down which are still a tiny smidge too small so I just have to leave like a hair of space on either side. And then I wanted to put a half box in but before that I just used the leftover washi that I trimmed from the top as a background behind my half box which I just flipped up onto its side. So on Wednesday it's my nephew's birthday so I've just written that down and then I just used one of the poppets from the birthday poppet sheet and obviously I've just used the blue one because you know it's a boy. Next I'm just using a full box with a little poppet holding a cup of tea because I'm going to be spending the afternoon printing and cutting and then lastly I just need to post some orders. You guys have been so lovely, you've been favouriting my shop and ordering lots of different things like my kits and my poppets and it's made me so happy and I'm just really pleased that you guys like them because that makes me super happy. So moving on to the next part of the week I'm just going to go ahead and put all of the blue headers along the top first. So for Thursday I started with a book first coffee sticker which is from my coffee poppet sheet and then underneath I put a full box because I needed to finish my new releases that will come out on the Friday which makes me super happy so I just used one of the happy poppets. Then I just put another gold washi strip as a header and I also had some more bits to clean so I used another home life poppet which has got like rubber gloves and a little cleaning bottle because I needed to clean my windows and my mirrors so I thought this full box was kind of perfect because it says shine on. For my to-do section I just put a to-do header and then a half box because I'm thinking about filming a mock spread so whenever I've got a new kit coming out I thought maybe I should film a mock spread so you guys can see the kit in action rather than me just kind of flicking through it. So if you would like to see a mock spread on any new kits that I have released then leave me a comment down below because I would totally do that for you. So Fridays are my new release day so I just use a page flag onto its side and I use one of the larger love poppets. I also use a Bill Dew sticker, there's one Bill Dew sticker that comes with the kit so I use that because I have a Bill Dew on the Friday and then I realised I hadn't used any of the round icons in the kit so I quickly used some of those. I used one to mark that my bins needed to go out and one that I wanted to do a face pack. I also put another half box down because I wanted to film next week's plan with me on the Friday. And then underneath I used a couple of little things, like I said there wasn't that many in the kit which is why I haven't used them throughout, but I wanted to mark down, I had a TV programme on which was Marvel Defenders, I also have a delivery due which is for my paper. Underneath I put a page flag onto its side and just put down social media because I wanted to spend a couple of hours on social media chatting to everyone because that makes me super happy. So for the weekend I used the leftover strips of the long washi that I did use at the bottom and I just done a double layer of that as a kind of background behind my weekend banner. So on Saturday I actually have a payday and there wasn't a payday sticker in the kit so I just pulled in one of mine which completely does not match this spread but we're going to work with it. I also used another round icon which has like a little satchel on for the homework. I then put down a to clean header with a little heart checklist but because it was a bit too long and it kind of went onto that black line I just lifted up my header and stuck the top part of the checklist under it so that way it fitted in the top box perfectly. Then I just put in another gold header and another full box which just says chic happens. Then we can move on to the Sunday. So on Sunday it's my niece's birthday. 
So I just use a half box to mark that. I also use the balloon round icon that come with the kit. And because I'd used a poppet on my nephew, I kind of had to use a birthday poppet on my niece as well. Then I have got my school checklist, which always happens on a Sunday. It's just the usual kind of get things ready for school the next day. Then I just wanted to mark down to edit my plan with me so I used a half box and some more of the washi that was left over from the top washi as a background behind it so I just flipped it up onto its side and just wrote down edit plan with me. This is where my pen started to run out and I knew I didn't have another one of these pens so I just needed it to last a little bit longer but I just wrote down edit plan with me and I also used one of the coffee poppets at the bottom holding a little mug. So using the leftover washi from the bottom, I just use it as a background behind my full box. Because in the Happy Planner, this calendar at the top is always a little bit wider than a full box and a bit longer than a full box. So I just like to use some washi to cover up as much of it as I can. And this just says, stay golden. So underneath I put a habit tracker and then I put a full box. I was supposed to put this next week header above it, which I kind of spaced for a moment and then when I realised it kind of ripped and it all goes terribly wrong. So this full box was not going to lift back up so I decided to stick the next week header on top but then the stickiness had gone so I kind of moved on and thought I would come back to that later. So I just stuck a dinner's header down with a weekly box and then also to cover up the gap at the bottom I just used another full box. So here's where I went back to try and fix my header and I just used one of the little glue dots that you would use for kind of crafting and then I completely ripped it in half so there was no saving this. I had to take it off and then I used one of the gold strips that I've been using as headers and just wrote down next week myself with my pen which was completely dying at this point and was not working. So before filling out my next week section I just went ahead and got another pen which also was not working so clearly I need to make a new pen order. So I decided not to fill in my dinners for the week. I did try to put the dates along the top, but even that kind of wasn't working. So I went back to my original pen and it still didn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill these out later with a different pen. But that's it for this week's spread. And this is everything that I used from the kit. So I've got quite a lot left over, which is good because I'm going to be saving this definitely because there's a lot of full boxes left. And here's a close-up, not that you need a close-up of this week's spread because you had a close-up the whole way through, but this is a quick close-up of this week's spread. If you liked it then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Plan With Me's and I will see you all next week. Bye guys!